It was the subject of a class action lawsuit. Scores of business persons blamed the government's plan to redirect a series of corridors for killing their businesses. But today, some good news for them. Prime Minister Hubert Ingram provided a detailed account of the new Providence Infrastructure Improvement Project during this morning's session of the House of Assembly, announcing that those merchants who suffered losses during the series of road redirections, closures and detours will receive financial assistance. Our Janeer Noel has details. And tortuous. That's how Prime Minister Hubert Ingram described the new Providence Road Improvement Project. He says that it has been faced with a myriad of challenges from its inception and the government is now seeking a third loan of $65 million from the IDB to meet the project's funding gap. The projected total cost of the IDB funded portion of this project is now estimated to be $206 million. To date, the IDB has provided some $129 million in two loans, leaving a funding gap of $77 million, of which $30 million is in respect of fuel escalation, $19 million in contingencies, $14 million of variations and modifications, $9 million due to delay in project completion, and $5 million in professional and engineering fees. Originally, the project was estimated at $66 million to be funded by the government and the IDB. However, the nation's leader also had some good news for businesses adversely impacted by the roadworks. The government, he says, will conduct a survey to identify those businesses and give financial assistance. Options that will be considered may include rebates of business license tax and real property tax. We will also explore the appropriateness of a grant program similar to the Jumpstart program that was announced in the last budget. As with the Jumpstart program, such an initiative could provide invaluable assistance to affected businesses and allow them to maintain operations and employment levels without incurring additional debt. And for those concerned about the management of the Roadworks project, an independent review of the government's administration will also take place. The report will be made public so the appropriate lessons will be learned from the experience and inform public policy in the future. While Minister of Works Nico Grant reported earlier this year that the project will be completed by July, Prime Minister Hubert Ingram noted that the completion date was set for the end of January. However, the government is negotiating an addendum to finalize a revised date. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS News.